Hey friends, how are you? Hey, I got my Joker hat on today. I call this my crazy hat. And I'm wearing my crazy hat today because some days feel like crazy days, don't they? Do you ever have a crazy day? A day that where it just feels like everything's going wrong. Nothing is going right. It's a day that is just not really a good day. Did you ever hear someone say a sentence with the phrase, run amok in it? You know, like a crazy, it's a crazy, this day has run amok. Well, for instance, like a, a sentence using this way. We have we tried to have some organized games for the kids, but as soon as they all got here, they just started all running amok. Or you could hear it in a sentence like this. The villagers were trying to clean up the debris for days after the bulls ran amok through the streets. So what in the world does the phrase run amok mean? Well, the word amok comes from Malaysia. And there's a Malaysian word that's pronounced amok, which when literally translated describes the behavior of some tribesmen who under the influence of drugs became wild rampaging mobs that attacked anybody in their path. They ran amok. So the phrase became popular in England during the 17th century when travelers would try to impress other people with their knowledge of these foreign cultures like Malaysia. So they would tell stories about these Malaysian tribesmen who would run amok. So to run amok became known as to behave or run around in a wild, unruly, out of control manner, to be crazy or chaotic. Today, we use the term to describe the things that get out of hand or a bit crazy, to get out of control, to go haywire, like this whole operation has run amok. Ha! I don't know how we can be expected to finish under the deadline in these conditions. Some days we feel like the world around us has run amok, don't we? Yeah, what should we do when it feels like everything around us is falling apart? Well, for one thing, we don't have to watch the news. Really, yeah, some days when we watch the news, we just go, ah, the world has run amok. So, how do we stay focused on the good on days when everything around us seems to be bad? We do want to stay focused on the good because that helps our spirits. That helps us uh, resolve some of the issues that we may have in our life. First of all, we need to remember that God is in control. Yes, he is. Psalm 22, verse 28 says, The Lord is king. He rules over the nations. God is in control. God also can give us peace. John 14, 27, Jesus said this, I leave my peace with you. I give my peace to you. I do not give it to you as the world does, because the world really doesn't give us peace. Do not let your hearts be troubled, and do not be afraid. Isaiah 26, 3, Lord, you will give perfect peace to those who commit themselves to be faithful to you. That's because they trust in you. Trusting God takes some effort, doesn't it? Yes, it does. But we can always work at that. One of the ways we trust God is by talking to Him, by praying to Him. We can talk with God. 1 Thessalonians 5.17 encourages us to never stop praying. I don't know about you, but talking to God sometimes helps my day. When I see a world that's run amok, I can say, Oh God, what is happening? Why is this happening today? What should I do? And there are ways that God speaks to us. One of the ways that God, um, I think, challenges us in a world that's run amok is to make a difference. That's right. Be a kind of person who makes a difference. Galatians chapter 6, verse 10 says, So when we can do good to anyone, everyone, or anyone, let us do it. Let's try even harder to the family of believers. So when we can do good, let us do it. Wow. Isaiah 58.10 says, Work hard to feed hungry people. Satisfy the needs of those who are crushed. Then my blessing will light up your darkness, and the night of your suffering will become as bright as the noonday sun. You know, that's a verse about being the helpers. The world needs helpers. The world needs people who are willing to give and to bring positive things to a world that is run amok. It needs helpers. It needs people who are God's people. Work hard to feed the hungry people. 
Wow, we see a lot of people who are hungry today, don't we? Satisfy the needs of those who are crushed. There are a lot of people who are feeling that the world has run amok and they are being crushed by it. Help them. Then my blessing will light up the dark, light up your darkness. It will help your day go better. I believe that's what it's saying. And the night of your suffering will become as bright as the noonday sun. I love that verse, Isaiah 58, 10. Today, let's be people of God who help others, who do not get overwhelmed by a world that's run amok, but rather look for the good, look for the peace and love of God in everything that we do. So today, I wish for you a day filled with peace.